Are the New England Patriots the clear-cut winners in NFL free agency, or is this a desperate ploy by Bill Belichick after having to watch Tom Brady hoist a Lombardi trophy without him? This is Christopher Smith, Pro Football Network senior betting analyst with today's edition of PFN 365. Three of the biggest topics each addressed in 65 seconds or less. Let's start in New England, where the Patriots have unofficially been crowned as the champions of free agency. At the time of this recording, the Patriots have signed 10 different players to contracts. And while I I think the defensive moves are excellent ones, particularly adding Matthew Judon to improve the pass rush. I think the offensive moves are nothing to get excited about. Hunter Henry and Jonu Smith are solid players, but anyone expecting a recreation of the Gronk, Aaron Hernandez glory days needs to have their heads examined. Similarly, Kendrick Bourne and Nelson Aguilar are average wide receivers at best who certainly don't move the needle in my estimation. I'd argue the division rival New York Jets free agent class might have more impact based on the additions of Corey Davis, and Carl Lawson alone. At the end of the day, this simply isn't the Patriot way. Instead, it reeks of desperation. As Mike Tanier put it in his PFN article this week, New England is overpaying for players they used to avoid as a matter of principle. So congrats on winning the offseason, New England. Just don't go hanging any banners just yet. Next up is a team that has made a few splashy defensive additions themselves, but I think is primed for regression in 2021, and that's the Tennessee Titans. Mike Vrabel and company signed former Steelers standout linebacker Bud Dupree, who's coming off an ACL tear in December of last season. Even with the injury concerns, Dupree will almost certainly be a more productive signing than the mercurial Jadavian Clowney turned out to be for the Titans last year. Other than that, though, replacing Adoree Jackson with Jan Janoris Jenkins is a wash, while on the offensive side of the ball, Ryan Tannehill loses right tackle Dennis Kelly, as well as aforementioned pass catchers Corey Davis and Jonu Smith to the AFC East. With the Jaguars already beginning to surround Trevor Lawrence with talent before he even arrives in Jacksonville, the AFC South is likely to have one less pushover next season. And subsequently, the Titans will be a team I'm looking to fade once the NFL season totals are released later this offseason. Finally, while NBA Top Shot moments have become all the rage as the evolution of digital sports collectibles, Patrick Mahomes has decided he's not going to wait around for the NFL to get involved in the NFT market. For those unfamiliar, NFTs are non-fungible tokens, which can be purchased using crypto. And while the NBA Top Shots are using seasonal highlights, Mahomes just sold $3.4 million worth of limited edition digital art featured in his Museum of Mahomes. Over under on how long before Roger Goodell and the NFLPA get their hands on a cut of this new revenue system? I'd guess by the time we kick off in September 2021. This has been Christopher Smith with PFN 365. Make sure you're subscribed to Pro Football Network YouTube channel to stay up to date with all our video content throughout the offseason.